Good day, Grade 12s. Welcome to this first lesson in Week 14. This week, we're going to be studying the Doppler effect. And the video in the next slide, you will have a basic introduction to the Doppler effect. Hello, Grade 12s. Today, we will look at the Doppler effect and its application to everyday life. Have you ever wondered why, when an ambulance approaches you, the pitch of the sound starts to increase and after it passes you, it decreases? In this lesson, we will find out why the pitch of the sound changes as the source moves towards or away from you. This is called the Doppler effect. We will illustrate what it is, how it occurs, and where we experience this in our everyday life. We will use the concept of water waves and sound waves to illustrate the changes in pitch of the sound. Let us find out what the Doppler effect is. When a vibrating source moves, the result is a most unusual phenomenon. The frequency of the waves appears to change and seems to increase or decrease depending on whether the source is moving towards or away from the observer. We call this observed change in frequency the Doppler effect. In this lesson, we will see how the Doppler effect can be applied to water waves, sound waves and light. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the Doppler effect, explain how the Doppler effect applies to sound. You've probably noticed a change in the pitch of the sound as the police vehicle moves. Pitch is determined by the frequency of the sound. Now that we have observed these changes, let's see why this happens. We will go straight to the lab to find out. Hi there. Have a look at my ripple tank again. Here I have a single vibrating source that is making circular waves that spread out like ripples. Notice that the waves are evenly spaced around the source. This means the waves are moving outward with the same speed and wavelength. Now watch what happens when the source is moved from left to right. The frequency of the moving source does not change. Notice the wave pattern changes. The wave fronts in front of the moving source are closer together and in the region behind the source the wave fronts are further apart. What can you conclude about the frequencies of the waves in front of and behind the source from what you've observed. To help you reach the right conclusion, recall the relationships between speed of the wave, frequency and wavelength. In the ripple tank, the speed of the water waves remains constant as there is no change in the medium or in the depth of the water. So the observed changes in wavelength in front of and behind the moving object must mean that the frequencies of the wave have changed too. Where the wavelength of the water waves in front of the moving source decreased, the frequency increased. And where the wavelength increased behind the source, the frequency here decreased. That was quite an interesting effect. Now let's see if the same thing applies to sound waves. Here I have a Doppler rocket. This source emits a sound which has a particular pitch. This pitch is fixed and does not change. Remember, pitch and frequency are related. So the frequency of the sound emitted by the source is fixed and does not change. Now watch and listen to what happens to the pitch of the sound as the rocket moves towards you. Did you notice that the pitch increased? Now remember, the source did not change its frequency, it just moved towards you. Now what do you predict will happen if the rocket moves away from you? Well this time the pitch decreased. You may have noticed a similar phenomenon when an ambulance or police vehicle moves towards you and then past you. Did you notice that the pitch of the sound was higher before it reached us and then became lower after it passed us? Do you see the similarity between what happened to the wave frequency as the source moved in all three cases we've examined here? 
In all cases, the frequency increased ahead of the moving source and decreased behind it. We saw this in the change in spacing of the water waves and heard it in the change in pitch in the case of the sound waves. Let's go back to studio to explain the changes we've observed. Okay, let's start by looking at the water waves experiment again. Let's say that the frequency of the source is set at 2 Hz. This means that two ripples spread outward from the source each second. First, let's consider what happens when the source stays in its position and does not move. Imagine that there is an observer in front of the source at point 1 and one behind the source at point 2. The observer at point 1 would observe exactly the same frequency for the ripples as the observer at point 2. Both of them would see two ripples passing them each second. Now, let's see what happens when the source is moved to the left towards point 1. Notice how the movement causes the ripples to make a different pattern in the water. The ripples moving from the source to point 1 have a short distance to travel and so arrive at point 1 sooner. The observer at point 1 would now see more ripples passing her each second. In other words, for the observer at point 1, the ripples will arrive with a frequency that is greater than 2 Hz. But the source has moved away from the observer at point 2. So each ripple has to travel a longer distance to reach this point, and so the observer at point 2 will count fewer ripples passing him in one second. In other words, for the observer at point 2, the ripples will arrive with a frequency that is less than 2 Hz. However, we know that the frequency of the source has not changed while moving and is still 2 Hz. The observed change in the frequency is called the Doppler effect. As you have seen, the Doppler effect also doesn't only apply to water waves, it applies to all other types of waves as well. Can you explain why the pitch of the siren changed as the police car moved towards and away from us? Let's apply what we have learned about the Doppler effect. When a police car is driving towards us with its siren blaring, we hear a sound that has a higher pitch than the actual sound of the siren. Remember, with sound, that pitch and frequency are related. So as the car approaches and the frequency of the sound waves increases, we hear the siren as a higher pitch than it actually is. And when a police car is driving away from us with its siren blaring, we hear a sound that has a lower pitch than the actual sound of the siren. Because the frequency that the observer notices is always lower when the source of waves is moving away from the observer. The Doppler effect has therefore helped us to understand why we hear this change in the sound as the police car drives past us. You should note that the frequency that the observer notices will also change if the observer is moving. To sum up, the Doppler effect is caused by the observed change in the pitch of the sound. Remember that pitch of sound is determined by the frequency of the sound wave. When the source moves away from the listener, the frequency at which the sound is heard decreases and the pitch decreases. But the frequency of the source does not change. The observed change in frequency is called the Doppler effect. When the source moves towards the listener, the frequency of the wave increases and the pitch of the sound increases. Remember the same principle applies when a listener moves and the source is stationary. As the listener moves towards the source, the frequency heard by the listener increases and the pitch of the sound increases. Thank you for joining us for this lesson. Please look at the other lessons in this series and try the task on www.mindsearch.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.